My frontier, so far. Your frontier, so close, bro. <laughs> well, come on in, everybody. Uh, today, we're doing a little bit of Farthest Frontier. This is patch 0 .9, 0 0.9.1, uh, so I figured we could kick it off by uh, doing a little guide. Uh, I have the map seed below if you want to follow along with your uh, with your own playthrough. Um, obviously, you can just kind of build along if you want or just do whatever, uh, but this should be full of tips and tricks to kind of get you started because uh, this game just went on sale as well. I have a Steam, I have a Steam link below if you want to play it yourself. Uh, pick it up. I think it's on sale for like 20 bucks or something like not not too bad uh, But it's getting pretty close to the uh, to the one point over lease I figured this is a, like as good as a time as any to uh, show people how to play get people into the game because it's pretty sweet All right Let me see if I have the setup right <laughs> I Should have pressed new settlement probably uh, That's okay. We're gonna load in for a minute here. The, the load times are kind of crazy, but Once you get going, it's no big deal yeah, the, like the biggest part of this game, well not the biggest, but like a very important part of it is making sure you get a good map seed. Uh, so you want to make sure that you're like, buy all the resources you need, otherwise you're kind of screwed. Uh, you're kind of at the whim of like whatever traders bring you things. Uh, you don't want that. <laughs> I mean, eventually you're, you are going to want it. Um, but for now, not so much. Hey, what's up, Max? Look how chill the channel is? Hell yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm going for. Welcome on in. Oh, okay. So I, I already placed this one down. We're, gonna, we're just going to restart it. Uh, this will be the same seed, though, uh, but we can just start fresh. Uh, and Mac and Sign, what's up, man? How the heck you doing? Welcome on in to the farthest frontier stream. Extravaganza. We're just going to reload this map real quick so I can kind of show you how the placement works. Okay, once again, the seed is down below in the description if you want to copy it for yourself. Uh, this, this is just a normal difficulty. Uh, we're not going to do anything too crazy. Uh, in the future, we can definitely do like a Vanquisher stream. i uh, kind of show you how, the, how that works because that's pretty fun. But yeah, there's like a lot of like castle defending in this game, uh, which really uh, itches a certain itch for me because I love defending a castle. And they also just added in uh, raid camps inside the map as well. So you can go raid uh, raiders now too. So there's like a little bit of offense play now as well, which is pretty sweet. This game is called Farthest Frontier. It is a uh, city builder slash like uh, survival game. Oh, yeah, here we go. We finished scouting the area. Survey the land your villagers have explored and choose a promising site to construct your town center. It's important to choose a location that's near the resources you'll need to build a successful settlement, like I just said. Yeah, so we have a uh, pretty good seed. Here's a whole bunch of good stuff. Here's these raid camps I was talking about, or like places you can like discover relics. Uh, you can see there's wolves on the map. You don't want to build on those. <laughs> it's good to build by them because uh, they're actually a really, really good food resource as well as they're good for uh, harvesting tallow and hides. Um, and they're always aggressive, so you're always fighting them. Now uh, you can see here's my here's my villagers down here. They're just straight chilling. Actually, give me one second. I'm gonna put the music up. Usually I play this game with no music on because uh, I love listening to podcasts and playing this game. It's just like a really, really chill time. But the music is very nice, too. So, I have played this seed a couple times. Um, I found a lot of success playing a building over here. But I think it might be kind of fun to 
kind of build by the water for this time uh just because there's a lot of uh early game advantages to be to being close to water um i wouldn't i wouldn't go for water every single time uh just because the fish kind of uh peter out later on in the in the gameplay i'll oh, get a wolf den right here too we got a gold mine that's also really good oh we got some deer down here man yeah being able to mine your own gold is going to be super important uh when it gets to late game uh but in the meantime i think uh Okay, so I did, this is the same seed I was playing before, but it looks like some of the uh, the resources that I had, uh, the chevrons depict like how many of that resource are here. It looks like those kind of get jumbled up every time, no matter what. Yeah, Frostbunker, or they are billions. <laughs> yeah, it'd be kind of similar to either of those. There's definitely less like events that happen, uh, like as far as like the events that you choose like in uh, Frostpunk. Um, but there is a lot of food management. We got two ponds over here, which seems pretty good. A whole bunch of willow as well, and two deers. This seems like a pretty good, pretty good spot. You can press F to see fertility. Uh, choosing for a really fertile place to start building is super important because uh, eventually you're gonna want to put down farms, right? Because farms are gonna be a really, really good way to make late game food. A very important thing to remember when placing your settlement, <laughs> you don't want to place it down on top of too many things like this. Like there's rocks here and trees, because like your villagers are going to have to clear all that before they can even put this down. Uh, which could be a big old time sink. Okay, I think. We're going to build on top of the hill. Uh, we're just going to clear out some trees and that should be fine. Yeah, we have uh, a good resource of deer over here. We have some fish. Uh, we have herbs, willow roots. Yeah, this is looking this is looking mighty fine. We're gonna build right here. And we can kind of terraform this out later and I'll show you how to do that. Nice man. Sick. Okay, so first things first. Uh, the most important thing you can do, uh, especially as you play on harder difficulties, is get your hunters cabins up. Uh, ASAP. Um, hunters are really, really good at defending your base. Uh, they're way stronger than a normal uh, villager. And they get you food. Oh man, there's, oh, there's another deer spawn over here. This is gonna be crazy, dude. <laughs> this is gonna be really good. So I'm gonna go into food production. I'm gonna put down a hunter cabin. We'll build it on top of some trees too. Eventually this land, uh, we're, we're gonna be reclaiming it for our fields, but we can just kind of build a hunter's cabin here for the meantime. But this, uh, these fields will probably take a while to, to build up anyway. And the deer are going to like that the fields are here because they're trying to eat them. <laughs> there you go. We're just going to play on 1x for a minute uh, while we kind of get some things set up here. Hey, what's up, Snow? How you doing, man? Yeah, a little educational stream. Hey, what's up, Cornell? How you doing? All right, so here we go. Right now, everyone's sad. <laughs> They're kind of lumbering over and seeing what's up. Yeah, this is a beautiful game, though. Like, uh, I would definitely rec recommend if you have like a less than optimal computer playing smaller maps. It really increases your FPS. Uh, I have mine kind of capped at 60, which is pretty good. And then like, this is a pretty large map. But this this seed that I have here is a, I think it's I think it's a large map, but it's doing okay for now because there's not too much going on. Yeah, here we go. Hunter's Cabin's going down. I'm going to put this on 3x now because I'm impatient. And we can talk about some other things that we're going to need. So the first migration of immigrants is going to come uh, probably in year two. I think I think there is a point they come at year one as well, um, kind of around like here. And yeah, maybe here in like in like the, in like August. Um, so you would need, uh, I think, six months worth or Six months worth of food in like six houses? Four months worth of food in six houses? Yeah, maybe that's it. Uh, so that's a pretty lofty goal to hit. It's not always possible. Don't feel bad if you don't get it. <laughs> it's not super, super, super important right away. Um, it would be it would be very nice though. Um, so, so early game buildings that we want to focus on. Um, yeah, the hunter, super, super important. That protects your villagers uh, from getting eaten by wolves and decreasing your workforce. Um, we also want to make sure we get down some houses. And we also want to make sure that we're getting down a log splitter and a smokehouse as well. 
This is the log splitter. You can see on the top right over here, we have all of our resources. All right, now I have three logs and nothing else. <laughs> so we're kind of broke. Uh, we're broke as a joke, but we do have some starting items in this seed. Um, so you can see right here, we have like five swords, a bunch of tools, some arrows, some food. So this will keep us going for a little bit. Uh, and it won't be so, so bad, but no, no, uh, no firewood, which we definitely need to survive the winter. And the benefit of the smokehouse is, you can see right now I have 11 food in my food stores. Uh, so eventually, as months go on, months of food loss of spoilage over the next 12 months is that orange text. Uh, that will start going up, which you do not want. <laughs> that'll that'll kind of screw you up. So by smoking your food, you make it, you preserve it, and it lasts longer. Uh, so the goal is to make as much preserved food as you can. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna focus on getting down the wood splitter, the smokehouse, and we're gonna try to get down six houses if we can. Okay, wood splitter. Okay, so there's also a desirability factor to this game. Oh, you, you really enjoy my Zero Seaver videos? Thank you so much. You don't speak English and I don't understand all, but you love my video? Oh, dude, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate that. Yeah, so there's desirability in this game. Uh, so less desirable places, people don't want to live by it. Uh, so I like to kind of build these out to the side. So I'm going to place my, my wood splitter a little bit further away because uh, I'm thinking... The plan is going to be to put most of my housing over on this side. Which I think will be fan, fan for fantastic. I'm also going to press H as a hotkey for harvesting. You can select what you want and deselect what you don't. Uh, I'm going to select everything at the moment because I just want to get most of this stuff out of the way here. Uh, I would also recommend not highlighting too many things at once. Uh, <laughs> and if you ever want to get rid of these things, uh, instead of you can you can click on these and like remove as target. But the other the other way to do it is to hold shift while you're in the harvest menu. And you can deselect things like that. So here they go. They're going to start chopping down some of these trees. Because uh, we need a bunch of wood. And yeah, the firewood splitter is going to go up. And then as soon as that does, I'm going to put down a smokehouse first. Even before I do my houses. Yeah, we got some blueberry bushes here too, which is fantastic. Uh, that reminds me, you're also probably gonna want a forager shack. And it looks like this place is just like rife <laughs> with a whole bunch of things we can forage, which is amazing. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of put this over here. It's not super important that I do, because um, there is also a way to adjust the work area, which I'll kind of show later. Uh, I have uh, about 100 hours in this game, like 100, 106, 110 hours. I play this game a lot. <laughs> I've been playing it since uh, the early access first came out. It is a very, very good game. Highly recommend. Here we go. Okay, so town center is up. Uh, you can see here that we have a little bell. This is gonna be very important to garrison your villagers when you're under attack. Uh, periodically, like maybe once every two years on this difficulty, uh, you're gonna get raided. And raiders will come and you just kind of hit this guy and everyone will go to, back to their houses. And then this becomes a defensive building as well. And just, like, they'll just shoot out arrows at people. Uh, but we wanna guard this as much as we can. Uh, so the idea is going to be to kind of separate this so we can wall it off. Uh, we're eventually going to put like a trade center uh, and probably a barracks and just kind of wall those all together. Uh, so it's just like a big old fort that makes it really hard for people to get in. Okay, the bloobs are up. Uh, I'm, I'm going to move these eventually. Uh, yeah, we have, oh, dude, we have so many blueberries. This is crazy. <laughs> this is actually a really, really good roll on this seed. Um, we're eventually gonna, this is the only bush you can do it with, but you can, uh, if you go up to the top by the escape menu, when you click on one, uh, there's a move options. You can kind of move it over here. I'm gonna put all my bloobs in big old rows and have a big old bloob farm. And eventually we can uh, preserve these. You can get a glass maker, uh, and then you can get a preservist, preserver, preserver, preservationist, <laughs> preservist, <laughs> one of those things. And that'll make your food go for way longer. Those preserves go crazy. Go absolutely nuts. Oh yeah, we got a wolf over here. He's trying to eat all my eat all my deer, man. Get out of here. Okay, wonderful. It looks like our fire wood splitter is up, which is fan freaking fantastic. And these guys are hard at work. I'm gonna go to my housing now. Now that I have uh Oh wait. We're still waiting on this. 
That's okay. They'll do this first. Uh, we can kind of start planning our housing. Uh, so a really good way to kind of plan out your housing is to... I like to kind of give it some space because I know I'm going to want a road here, uh, somewhere in here. I also am going to want a wall. Uh, and then I want some space. I need some space here. Uh, so I'm going to start building kind of around here, I think. So I'm going to put these close together like that. So that's a row of three. Uh, I'm going to give it one tile of space in this next row. Yeah, we'll do it like this. We'll just hope they get those rocks out of the way ASAP. Uh, but the idea behind this is that eventually we're going to be able to build decorations in between these rows of houses, which drive up desirability. So I'm probably going to do some garden trails. Um, that's a pretty... Uh, common thing that I normally do, but like you, you'll probably be using like urns, these guys down here, which like only take up one tile, um, but they give a pretty large, pretty large um, desirability bonus. Yeah, the move option's broken. <laughs> it's pretty dang good. It's pretty darn good. Dude, so many bloobs. Okay, now we can also kind of talk about villager jobs, professions. Uh, if you press P on your keyboard, you can see um, your professions that you currently have. Right now, we have 10 laborers and we also have four builders. So these are two separate pools of people. Um, we have, uh, so the laborers, um, these kind of schedules kind of move things around in your city. So you want to make sure you have some. <laughs> Eventually, you might be tempted to like build more uh, more jobs for people by putting down more houses, like I put down the firewood splitter. So now someone's working there, right? Uh, and that person comes out of the labor pool into here. Um, we don't really want to do too many of those just because um, if no goods are moving around, then no one ever uses them and everything goes to waste, right? But th those are the people that are going to be generally moving things from place to place. Yeah, this rock. It's gonna take forever to mine. <laughs> it's, a, it's making me a little bit worried, bro. Just a little bit worried. Uh, but I mean, the bare minimum that you need for housing at the beginning is three houses. Each house can house four people and you start with 12. Quick maths, four times three is in fact 12. Okay, we need to harvest more trees as well. I'm gonna unselect all these things for right now uh, so I can safely hover over rocks. We're just going to try to knock out some of this area over here. There we go. First house is down. See, now we have uh, 12 out of 4. So that means our housing uh, is at 4. Uh, you can also kind of see here we have adults, adolescents, villager count, housing count. Um, there's an education system to this as well. And then you can also see how many people are fit to work. You know, some people might get sick. Um, some people might have a broken foot. Uh, <laughs> broken feet are pretty common in this game if you don't get shoes. So you definitely want to make sure you're getting shoes. And now that we have a house, we're going to want to put down a well as well. We're going to do a basic well. It's underneath resources. And we're going to kind of put it... This is like a 50% 50, 50 water bonus. It's not fantastic, but we will take it. Uh, maybe we'll do... I kind of want it to be pretty close to the rest of this stuff. Uh, I'm going to put it here. We'll, we'll call it good right there. Because um, if these houses catch on fire, um, I want to be able to save them, <laughs> if at all possible. Okay. We can also start talking about production limits. Um, since I have this firewood splitter, um, obviously I need a lot of uh, firewood to get through the winter. But I do need wood to build houses for the winter as well. So if you click on the produced item inside of a, inside of a building, you can unclick this uh, infinite sign uh, right here. Maximum quota for right now. I'm gonna say 100 will be fantastic for us. Borderline too much, <laughs> but for right now, that should be totally cool. Hey, what's up, Liam? How you doing, bud? Need to sleep? Yeah, don't we all. Don't we all. <laughs> Allow me to send you to sleep, man. That's like my goal as a YouTuber, is put people to sleep, man. <laughs> let, let this ish play in the background. You don't want to select too many things. A few minutes later. <laughs> I know, I'm definitely guilty of it. It's so easy to do, man. Yeah, so right now, you guys are missing logs because I haven't been cutting enough. Okay, so we can also talk about prior, uh, 
prioritization. <laughs> I don't know why I have such a hard time saying that word. Uh, you can prioritize your buildings. So if you want those things to get built first. You can also halt production on things as well. Yeah, we have a housing shortage. Build here first. We definitely want at least these three houses to get us through the winter. I don't want to. I don't want to <laughs> go too long without them. It gets dangerous. Oh my god! Oh, I thought these were blueberries, man. I was like, holy cow! That'd have been crazy. Awesome. Okay. Very, very good. Uh, I am going to move the blueberries later. Um, I'm not going to do it now because I really want them to focus on getting the trees cut down and these stones out of the way. That's super, super important. We do, in fact, have a housing shortage. It's 4.45 a.m. for you, Liam? Holy cow. That's like the time I get up. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Here we go. The houses are going down. We can also take a look. Um, yeah, the work areas. Uh, so in the top, uh, top right over here where we have the foraging shack, um, you can see building production. You can turn it on and off if you want the building to stop producing. But you can also retarget your working area. So you can kind of see right now, um, I'm only hunting within this yellow radius. Uh, but if I want, you can say, let's hunt over here. Or is this the foraging shack? <laughs> so it's not, it's not really hunting. Uh, here, we'll put that back over here. Uh, where are you? There you go, hunter cabin. Yeah, so we're going to kind of focus like about here because I want to be able to kind of walk into this range too, uh, just in case uh, any wolves come in. Yeah, but the early game hunters are really, really good. And eventually, um, you're going to get different, um, like, bow types. Like, you can get, like, crossbows later, which go pretty, pretty hard. You'll be collecting a whole lot of food. I'm going to take a quick look. I have seven laborers. Yeah, so here we go. We did miss the first uh, the first um, people that wanted to immigrate. Yeah, four-month food supply and six houses. So we did miss it entirely because of the, uh, the rock situation over here, unfortunately. That's why it's important to not build on rocks, but I wasn't I wasn't super super worried about it. And it's honestly probably more realistic if this is your first time that you don't hit it. <laughs> but that's okay. No big deal. Okay, we have absolutely no um no wood right now. So we're gonna pause these. Disable construction for now. And we're gonna really focus on getting these trees. Okay, we're gonna prioritize these. We need everyone on deck here. Cut down my trees. Hey, Turd Ferguson, how you doing, bud? You just finished working on your car? And this is the perfect game to unwind to. So true. It's like, honestly, it's such a peaceful game. Like, I, I, like when I'm playing games for myself, this is the game I like to play. I just like put on a Dungeons & Dragons podcast, man. I could just do this for like six hours at a time, <laughs> like no problem. But it's fun too, because it's still challenging. It's not totally mindless. You definitely have to make hard decisions a lot. Yeah, get that firewood stores up, man. You can see right here, we're kind of getting close to winter. So I think we should be able to unwind here pretty, pretty well. I don't think it's gonna be too much of a problem. Let's make sure these are prioritized as well. Oh my God, this is already full? That's crazy. Yeah, we have to build a stockyard and a root cellar as well. Pretty soon here. I wonder if we can do that right now. Cause it looks like we're gonna start losing food to spoilage pretty soon. Uh, maybe I'll hold off for a little bit. Um, but the next thing you want to work on is probably this stockyard because uh, you need this for upgrades later on. Um, we don't want to build it too close to this stuff because eventually we're going to kind of build out. Um, we can also like move this later too, which we might end up doing if it's not in the best place. But I'm going to put this kind of in between um, my town centers and, and in between um, my less desirable stuff because this is kind of like a net neutral um, desirability kind of item. 
There you go. 10 wood, that should be no problem. We cut down a tree because we put this over top of it too. Or maybe we don't. Looks like it's like... Yeah, there's a little gap here. <laughs> they might cut it down, they might not. King Ghidorah, what's up, man? Uh, I'm not sure when this is going to be released, actually. I feel like we're getting pretty close, though. This is uh, 0.9 at the moment, or 0.9.1. So they're, they're getting there. <laughs> they're getting super close. Boom, stockyard is up. Fantastic. That should unlock some new buildings for us, too. Yeah, like the storehouse and the root cellar. Um, root cellar, I definitely want to put down. I'm going to kind of put it close to my... Uh, my foraging shack. Just so there's not too much of a, a distance for, for my guy to go. He can just like drop it all off in there. Okay, we can come back here and we can uh, re-enable our construction. I think that'll be fine. Looks like we're doing fantastic on firewood. That should be more than enough to last us for the rest of this winter. And I do want to hit that uh, that six house cap for the immigration boost. Get more workers out here. Awesome. That's looking fantastic. Yeah, so we build the house. 24 people. I'm going to press P real quick. Okay, so we have eight people. Um, I might put down a... Uh, a fishing shack as well. We can just start production on it now. So it'll be, probably be ready pretty soon. But there was a... Yeah, here we go. Uh, so when it comes to fishing, I would highly recommend not doing too many fishing shacks. Uh, just because you can overfish really easily. Ideally, the amount of fish count you can see here, like right now it says it's fish count is 203. If you're aiming for about 250 per per fishing shack. So if you do any more than that, any more shacks per that fishing count, uh, you're gonna overfish it and you won't have fish ever again. They will go extinct in my little pond. Harvest a little bit more stone here. I'm going to move this blueberry bush because I want to put down some roads, too. Because I love a good road, man. Mm. Here we go. Seven new people. They want to join. Uh, so typically, you just want to have more housing, uh, Otter, for people to move into houses. Um, sometimes people will come anyway, uh, even if you don't have enough housing and still want to join. Um, usually it's happiness that wants people, it makes people want to join. Um, and then you need food stores. So at least, at least four months of food stores is what you're looking for. Okay, fantastic. So I can hold shift to get a straight road. This is a pretty unnecessary road. I just think it looks nice. <laughs> but roads give you guys give you guys a small little movement buff. Yeah, so we need to make a market. That's our next goal. Right here. So we need a saw pit to start making wood planks. And we also need a storehouse and storage. Yeah, so the end game is just um, making the biggest colony that you can, really. <laughs> just keep expanding until you die. Usually, I just get to the end, and then I quit and make a new one. <laughs> but I don't think there's any, like, actual win condition. Here we go. Root cellar is going to go up, and that's going to help us a lot with our, uh, our spoilage. But we're going to start to kind of... Uh... Yeah, here we go. Make a little blueberry farm for ourselves. But yeah, we're, we're going to kind of even out now. Um, it's not going to be as hard to survive because we're going to be looking real, real good on our resources. And our food is kind of established at this point. 
um, and we should have no problem sustaining 20 to 24 people for a little bit here. Um, the main thing you don't want to do is rush uh, too much because this is this is meant to be a pretty slow game um, and, and if you rush your population and try to get more people uh, you're sitting up with a bunch of babies you have to feed <laughs> unfortunately like you want to have as many adults like fit to work adults as possible Yeah, move those bloobs on over. Yeah, <laughs> survive and make a pretty city. It's kind of fun too. You can kind of see like what kind of, um, yeah, colony survival. It's kind of fun to see like what kind of different like markets you can tap into, like what things do well in the early game, what things don't. Um, I would highly re recommend making a lot of shirts. Um, shirts sell for a lot of money. probably start working on some storage stuff so we can start upgrading I'm gonna make a storage house and put it right here and I'm gonna make sure I have some trees that we're still harvesting we want to keep that going as much as we can and we need to make a saw pit as well so here's our saw pit we'll kind of move it over here this is an undesirable one so I'm gonna move it a little closer to this side And just like with the uh, with the blueberries, you can move houses. Oh yeah, here's the desirability. Uh, you can move houses with the re re relocate building uh, option. You're gonna move it wherever you want. Uh, I think the only thing that really costs money to move is your settlement. I think that costs some uh, some dinero to get moving. Hey Max, what's up, man? Oh, more bloobs. Got to hold on to these bloobs. No, throw them right on over here. Mm. As far as the eye can see. It looks like we're sitting on four months worth of food. I could probably... Yeah, I have 12. I'm going to put down another hunter. For that early game protection. Uh, and also, just to get some more hides, because I would love to have uh, more hides coming in so we can make coats, because coats are crazy defensive. Uh, and they're re they really, really buff your villagers. Let's go to food production. I'm going to build another hunter's hut. And we don't have to worry uh, too much about over farming these guys. Um, two spawns of uh, two chevrons will be more than enough to sustain itself. They ain't never going to run out. I mean, eventually they might move. Uh, which might be a problem, but for now, that's totally okay. Mashing tech in seven in preparation for eight. <laughs> nice. Dude, yeah, X dude, XCOM is a lot of fun. I definitely play some XCOM. It makes me rage, but <laughs> it is a lot of fun. You miss like a 99% shot, man? Oof. Worst feeling. Worst feeling in gaming. <laughs> Production's been halted. Or move this up to 150. We're gonna type it. I'm not gonna click that many times. Oh, there's modded XCOM? Oh. I've never been I never did too much with mods. Is like a Steam Workshop thing? I did play a lot of banished and like would play like the modded banished, which was a lot of fun. Ranger got 99% slash and he missed, yeah. Ain't <laughs> hey, that just the way of things? Let's get some more trees harvested. Yeah, that is XCOM. <laughs> that is totally XCOM for you. Okay, so we're doing real, real good on food now. Uh, we could probably start thinking about adding some more housing. Some more shelters here. 
So I think the plan is going to be to put my, my market here. Uh, the market is going to make sure that we can uh, tax the people inside, which will be very, very good for us. I'm going to put a little gap here. I think I did that wrong. Yes, I did. We have to move this. Sometimes it's hard to tell with these early models of the game of the of the housing. They don't always look like they're super. Uh... There we go. Two more houses should probably be more than enough. XCOM has the workshop. Okay, sweet. Very very good. Oh yeah, Ixion. Yeah, I've uh, I've seen that too. Okay, we can also talk a little bit about a little bit about terraforming now too, because you can see right here I kind of have this like this gulch uh, forming right here, which is not going to be very good for us if we want to put down buildings. The slope will be too steep. Uh, so ideally, we can kind of do something like this. I'm gonna let that I'll let these two build. Uh, so each time you do a flatten, um, no matter what size you make it, two people will go there. Uh, so you can make smaller uh, smaller flattens like this. And two people will go there, so you kind of see, like, I did a few flattens, so that means more people will be working on it. And then, we, then the once this is all flat, we can try to rectify the rest of this stuff. Usually terraforming takes a while. Okay, saw pit is up. Oh, no, it's not. Yes, it is. Here we go. This guy's making us planks. We have 16 planks to work with, which means we can also put down our market. Yes, yeah, so like right here, the slope is too steep, so we can't really do it. I think we're going to place it. Let's go for like right here. And then we can start collecting taxes from these guys, which would be fantastic. Also gonna press N for my dirt road. That's a hotkey for it. I'm gonna start building out some roads. Let's start kind of start getting our grid going. Star Renegades? No, I haven't heard of it. Hey, alright, King. I'll catch you later, man. Thanks for hopping in. Hope you have a great night. We got predators attacking. We got a wolf. Where are my hunters at? I mean, you guys are really close here. The, the quick way to find which where your hunter is, go to the building and then click on the portrait. There he is. Take him out. No, don't die. Yes, he made it. Get that ass. No. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, I might need a hunter over here somewhere too. Man, <laughs> it do be like that sometimes. We got a sand pit over here too, nice. That'd be good for when we start making glass. You can also see these little uh, infinite signs over, si over these uh, like clay and iron deposits. Uh, that means there's infinite amounts of it, but it's a deep mine. Uh, you only unlock deep mining at the very last tier of the, of the tech tree. So once we upgrade this like four times, then we can do deep mining. Okay, we need 50. 50 wood planks, quite a bit. Also, it's rock. 120. That's gonna take forever to, to mine, but that's a that's a lot of rock. It'll last us for quite a while, thankfully. Yeah, since this villager is dead, we need to start building a cemetery as well. Um, I kind of like to put it on the outside of town. So I think we can just kind of throw it down here. Let me make sure I don't put it on my fertile land. Okay, sick. This is some... Ooh, maybe our farms are going here, man. I think we're going to put it down right over here. 
We can just kind of do like a small guy for now. The dead will, will pile up eventually. <laughs> yeah, but you don't want these guys to stick around for too long because they cause diseases, which uh, would be pretty not good for me right now. Yeah, the buildings do uh, eventually turn into a more modern look. Um, eventually, uh, you go from shelter, uh, you can get like all the way up to a, a manor, uh, which will kind of look really like, um, I think it'll do like the stone bottoms with like the, the wood tops, look really, really nice. Yeah, but like right now, these look these look like a little uh, little makeshift for the time being, but uh, it'll it'll look a lot nicer later. You chugged a can of Red Bull at 8 p.m. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's why you're still up. <laughs> yeah, bring out your dead. Already working on it, getting that graveyard up and running. It was also a good way to cut some more trees down. Okay, we're quickly, quickly approaching winter. Um, usually around like the middle of the year, I like to make sure that I look over at my firewood and make sure I don't like I'm not running out, because <laughs> that's a really hard thing later on in the game. If you're not splitting enough wood, man, you're gonna be in a, a world of hurt. Ooh, a new villager has immigrated. Fantastic. It's right, 23 of 32. A little Zero Sievert stream in the future? Heck yeah, absolutely. I've been loving that game. I really like all the changes they made so far too. Let's take a look at my resources real quick. Uh, now that we have some, uh, some housing up, we're gonna wanna make sure that we uh, Get a compost yard up when we start collecting taxes when this goes up. So we're, this will be something that, we, that we're going to be building in the, the very near future. Um, tannery. Also going to be very, very important. Um, this is another very undesirable building to be around. So we're going to make sure these are all kind of together. We're going to put it right here. Um, but the hide coats will be really good for winter. Also very good protection from wolves. So like this guy probably would not have died right away uh, if we just had some coats. Try a night run for Zero Sievert. <laughs> Yeah, I should. I wonder if they put in any like Easter eggs or like anything special in for the nighttime ones. They definitely should to like entice you to go out. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, this is about to go up and we're gonna be making um, pretty good amount of money. Uh, we can press G to see our desirability. That's the hotkey. 16 to 15%. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> it's not fantastic, but it's something. We'll see how much money we start making in a few months here. Okay, year three. Just like that. Press P, so many people we have, we have six. Not great. <laughs> we might have to wait a little while. Uh, I don't want to expand too quickly, because we'll be in a world of hurt. Halloween dudes are out at night? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, that game looks hard enough during the day, I can't imagine what the night is like. <laughs> exactly. And I was like, I scare so easy <laughs> when I'm playing that game, man. Oh my lord. It's just like jump scare after jump scare for me. It, like just like a bird will come down or like a rabbit will dash. I was like, oh god. <laughs> okay, and you might not be close enough to the well, so we might build a new one. Also, these these have a tendency to catch fire pretty quickly, so it probably would behoove us to put a well down over here. Yeah, and the tannery also just requires water, so having one super close to it will be good a good option. Um, you will really want to make sure you don't build wells too close to each other because they kind of draw from the same um, Oh eight more villagers. Heck. Yeah, uh, they kind of draw from the same water table if I go to um, oh, I Don't remember the water key Whatever they'll be fine, uh, but they kind of draw from the same water table So if two of them are too close to each other uh, eventually these wells will dry up So I make sure they're like pretty well spaced out 
Okay, we're making eight gold a month, man. That means we can start getting a compost yard up and running. Another very undesirable building, unfortunately. Uh, so we're going to throw it right over here. Which will work out well because, like, my fields are going to be over here, too. But you do want it to be kind of close to the, um... To the, to the buildings that they're going to be taking the poop from. Okay, 14 laborers. That's awesome. We can start uh, planning out our farms. Uh, farms. The, good, the best way to go about these is kind of make a small one at first. Um, so I'm going to build on this really fertile land. Uh, we're going to do probably just a small guy. Let's do like an 8 by 6. So there's not too many people that are going to work at it. Um, but this is going to take some years to get up and running. So it's good to kind of get them like up and going now. Um, we're like when I'll talk more about these later when we, when we go to plant. Um, but for now, there should be more than enough. And I might just put down. Oh, we're still we're doing pretty good on food. More housing is required though, which will also boost our uh, our income, so we can get some uh, watchtowers, which will probably be the next step. So I do want to make sure I leave some space in the middle here around my market, because I'm going to put down amenities eventually let's call it here we'll put down three more i don't want too many babies so i'm gonna try to expand it pretty slowly just a little farming guy man dude the boss fight with oral was nuts <laughs> I can't believe that's one of the first bosses that you fight. <laughs> like, as an assignment. Honestly, I think that was, like, harder than Kibba <laughs> at the end game. Like, I'm so scared for when I do my, uh, my Ultimate Iron Man series, for real. <laughs> and I have to go do that. I'm gonna get rinsed, bro. <laughs> Absolutely rinsed. <laughs> yeah, we got a cemetery up. Uh, a nice little detail. Uh, you can see a headstone from our one person that died. <laughs> and they actually just added uh, mausoleums that go inside of the grave the grave sites too, which is really cool. They're always adding good stuff for this game, man. Yeah, you can see these farms take a really long time to get going. This is going to take, oh God, 2,000 units of work. So it's going to be a hot minute before that's even close to ready. Okay, it looks like we hit production cap on our firewood splitter. Fantastic. So they're going to stop doing that now. Yeah, so you see we're taking a bit of a hit now to our monthly income because we put in the uh, the composter. Um, but that's going to be really good because these will also um, go into our fields eventually as fertilizer. Yeah, I think the scope helped too uh, when I went to go kill him. Just be able to distance myself a little bit. Okay, they might need another water source over here, too, which is totally okay, because we can kind of build it out this way. Oh, yeah, much better water bonus over here. We'll kind of build it... Um, 73. I'll kind of put it in the back over here. He's the poop smith. <laughs> you gotta pay the poop smith. He's doing the hard work. Do you guys ever watch Homestar Runner? <laughs> Do you remember the Poop Smith from that? That old, uh, <laughs> that old uh, Flash animation video, the Strong Bad Emails. Oh my God, I used to love that. I used to love that shit, man. Growing up. Nice. We got a well up here. Fantastic. Let's see if we're harvesting any trees. We're not. Okay, good. I'm glad I checked. Let's make sure we're getting some more trees out. You don't want to run out. <laughs> you never want to run out. 12 laborers. Fantastic. Uh, we have four builders. I think that's fine. Yes, dude. The cheat. <laughs> we got some Homestar Runner enjoyers over here. Heck yeah. Like, I think that's something I'm going to show my kids <laughs> when uh, when I have them. I don't have them yet. 
When I was growing up, all we had was Homestar Runner. And epic fail vids. <laughs> yeah, firewood check. Exactly right. We're doing very good on firewood. That production cap we put down is like really, really good. 150 is like way is like more than enough. By quite a bit, so that's that's good. But things will start to use our firewood as we go. Like the um the smoker uses firewood. Oh, you guys are at capacity. Which is fine. We're bringing in a lot of food at the moment. But we can also start to work at like other things now too. Um, Fletcher building is gonna be important. Uh, this is kind of a net neutral uh, for desirability. So I'm gonna put it kind of over here by kind of our, our production stuff. Um, but eventually we're gonna kind of run out of arrows and I don't want that to happen because like when the arrows dry up, so does the food, at least the hunters. Um, right now we have, and here we have 40 arrows. So we started with a hundred. So those are kind of going a little quick. Yeah, the flash arrow was truly something else. <laughs> it's amazing how much work those people put into those videos. Because flash was not an easy program to use, man. <laughs> oh yeah, black sheep and uh, new grounds. <laughs> Heck yeah. And like miniclip.com. Oh my god. That's how. That's where I started playing RuneScape. <laughs> And doing things on one monitor, man. <laughs> like when I got two monitors, like, oh my God, I can never go back to just having one monitor again. Good Lord. Two monitors is like essential. <laughs> Play some eight ball pool on mini clip. <laughs> Armor games. <laughs> okay, we're making six now. Six gold a month. Um, let me see what what we need for a uh, lookout tower. Five gold. Might be worth doing. I'm gonna put one down here. Oh, it needs 50 gold first anyway. So we're, we're gonna wait a little bit longer. It won't take too long. Um, typically, when you get raided, people are gonna go for your town center. Um, but I have seen people go for this too. Uh, since this is totally defenseless, I'm gonna put down a watchtower over here. Um, but, you know, like, it could also soften up, um, attacks as they come down. Um, but this, this does a pretty good job at defending itself. You tried getting into RuneScape, but, uh, Diablo 2 was your whole childhood. <laughs> yeah, Diablo 2 was, like, freaking great game, man. But I do love me some RuneScape. I'm also gonna try to flatten out this area a little bit more. Uh, I'm gonna do some smaller rows like this. And if you leave a row in between... Um, this area will get flattened for free. Okay, crops are ready for assignment. Fantastic. Let's take a look at this. Uh, this is a lot of information. Don't worry about it for right now. You can press this button to get rid of it all. Um, fertility is high, which is amazing, actually. Um, but I'm going to start by doing a, uh, a round of setting in farmers to remove rocks and weeds. And then I'm going to put in clovers. Clovers add fertility. Uh, so we just want to bump this up as much as possible. And then I'm going to start getting some early game food from this by putting in some peas. Peas are really good. They last like 18 months in storage, which is fantastic. I'll move this a little bit over to the side. Uh, I'm just going to do it again. And then for this last third year, uh, I think I will do the same thing, but do turnips at the back end. Hey, Dylan, what's up, man? How you doing? And building blocks, what's up, boy? This game is on your wish list, but I already own so many colony builders, plus there's the huge backlog of games I haven't even installed yet. Yeah. <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> yeah, I, I, played so, I played so many colony builders before I got this one. And honestly, this one's probably the best. Of the ones I play, I play like a bunch of them. Uh, this is like, in my mind, probably the truest successor to Banished. Um, I played a lot of Banished, um, and this game just does it so much better, man. <laughs> it just does it so much better. 
yeah the farming is really cool um so you can see like this will you get three year rotations uh so you don't want to you don't want to do too many of the same crop in a row because uh, you'll start to get diseases uh, for your crops, which will affect your yield. So you can see, like, you can kind of like, add clay, so you can, um, you know, adjust the, the... I don't have any clay, but, you know, we could. <laughs> we could put in clay over here to get a tighter um, yield bonus. Uh, you can also add sand if you need some for something else, because, like, you know, see, these have different uh, targets. You can also expand your fields. Um, if you want to get... This is important, too. Uh, if you want to get rid of something... Um, which it, it's obvious once I say it, but like I didn't notice for a long time. Uh, you click on it, and then right over here, clear selected crop is how you get rid of it. Cool, we're gonna let that go. That should be some early game food for us. Um, I'm also gonna put down under the root cell over here, just so it's easy, easy access. And the other thing I'm gonna do is put down some fencing. Uh, because eventually there's going to be some deer that are going to think our fields are looking pretty yummy. And I can't blame them. Our field is going to look delicious. So we're going to put down some fences. Boom, there we go. Oh, you looked at my first videos, <laughs> and there was like two at about 100 views, and then the Zero Zebert ones, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Zero Zebert videos did super well on my channel. So I, like, me and Oscar Mikey are like probably the, the people that play that game the most on YouTube. So it's like a, a little niche. A little niche just for us. It's great because like it's a really hard game to get bored of. <laughs> but I definitely want to take a bit of a break. You gotta do the fence entrance. Yeah, I put one in. There it is. Oh, wolves! Get them. Yeah, they're. I think they're. Yeah, they're wearing hide coats, um, so they were. Way more protected that time, and they were able to take them out themselves, which is fantastic news. Oh, that's how you found my channel? Heck yeah. Okay, what do we want now? Uh, we could probably start working on some shoes. Uh, let me see how many people at six. <laughs> Maybe not. I think we'll I think we'll chill here for a bit and just like kind of let it run. Get some more trees harvested. Always be harvesting until we get the work camp. We can also take a look at our uh, our requirements for upgrade. Uh, looks like we're meeting them all. We just need to get the, the materials now, which is great. So I'm probably going to work on getting that done ASAP. Yeah, I mean, getting subscribers takes a while, uh, at least for me. <laughs> I'm sure there's ways to do it faster. But I'm, I'm no YouTube genius. I'm just a dude that likes to play games. And I was like, hey, I can make a channel. <laughs> That'd be a fun side project. And it is. It's been, it's been a lot of fun. And all good things can come in time. And I'm totally okay with it. But thank you for saying that I, that I deserve more. Because I do appreciate that. That is super nice of you. So we need some more stone. I'm going to harvest this guy. We need 60 planks, so the stone is going to be the, our biggest bottleneck for the upgrade. The first upgrade is not super hard to get. We're, we're honestly doing it pretty slow. We're at year four. Um, you could probably get it done in a few years. This will probably take me like five years to do. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and build our uh, defense too. I'm just going to put you right there. <laughs> I'm 
Might be a good time to start making baskets too. Baskets are super, super good. People will put them on their backs and they will carry a lot more things, making them a lot more efficient. Put one of those down too. Hopefully we can stand to lose like two people. <laughs> maybe not, maybe I'm, maybe I'm overextending here a little bit. Okay, new villager has been born, fantastic. Most people with this number of subs usually have crappy mics and don't know how to do the whole videos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, honestly, audio was like very, very important thing for me to get right. I think like you can get away with a lot of with a lot of garbage <laughs> if your if your audio is good. So I think audio is like one of the most important things you can do if you're starting a channel. Just invest in something good. And luckily something good, like usually it can be pretty cheap if you do a right treatment for your sound. Song of Six? I don't think I, should, I don't think I've heard of it. Another colony survival game? It looks like we're kind of starting to flatten this out. Fantastic. Okay, we're four laborers. <laughs> Not great. But these guys have to start making um, some baskets, so that'll be fantastic for us. I'm just gonna do some really lazy terraforming because I don't feel like doing it the right way. <laughs> yeah, some people can terraform. Um, there's a really great YouTuber for um, for this game that I watch a lot. His name is uh, Tactic Cat. Uh, he has a lot of really good uh, Farthest Frontier content as well. Um, and he does like a lot of crazy builds, man. <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm just gonna try to focus on the on the simple stuff to get people in. Oh no, this is kind of, this is a little bit depressed down here. Uh, come up. Okay, okay, that wasn't bad. Yeah, yeah I don't have a microphone in my, in my headphones, thankfully. Yeah, I got a, an Audio-Technica, um, AT2035 or something like that. Some some uh, list of numbers that accompanies <laughs> AT. Yeah, Audio Techno. This is like most people get the uh, the short SM7B, which is a lot more expensive, and this is like a fraction of the price, but it sounds pretty dang good. If I was to ever upgrade again, I'd probably go with that. But I mean, this is like more than enough for me. <laughs> Song of Six is a, a colony sim on steroids. You start with 10 people and can grow one city to 10K or so and conquer other cities. Oh, that sounds awesome, actually. Oh, you're hurt. You got the scurvy. Okay, we need 60 wood planks and then we're good. Oh, eight laborers. Heck yeah. Some people must have grown up. We're still doing fantastic on food. Uh, we're going to do a firewood check real quick as we're getting to the middle of the year. We're looking really, really good. The villager has been cured. Fantastic. He cured his scurvy. Uh, trees. We do need more trees. It looks like we still have some selected. Select a few more. But I think at tier 2 we're going to get work camps. Oh, here it is. Upgrade. Send it. We might get this done before the end of year four, so maybe maybe we're at a pretty good pace right now.
Almost. Give me that sweet, sweet rush of endorphins. Look at him go. <laughs> hey, go back there. What are you doing? Yep, there's work to be done. Boom. Fan freaking tastic. Tier 2 unlocks a whole bunch of new stuff for us. Uh, you can see here we have um, uh, pits for gathering uh, resources. Eventually, we'll be able to use these resources. Um, a lot of them you can't at the moment. Uh, you'll be able to start processing when you hit Tier 3 more so um, but it's good to get these things going but these are very low priority for the most part um, I would focus on getting these things in later um, but we did unlock ourselves a wagon shop which is awesome because this will unlock um, the ability to make work camps uh, which is great for harvesting trees and rocks we're gonna put one down right here get that going What else did we get? Yeah, we can start working on windmills, um, bakeries, and an arborist. An arborist will be really, really good. Um, yeah, we're going to want to get clay going pretty soon because we need clays to uh, build our school. And educated vill villagers will work more efficiently, which is really, really nice. Yeah, the trading post we can start getting up now too, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, that'll probably go over here somewhere because I'm going to wall all that off eventually. And yeah, a school will be really nice because that also adds like a really good amount of desirability. You can see it's adding a bunch right here. So that's why we have left these spaces uh, so we can add in our desirable buildings and make sure that it's uh, covering the most efficient range possible. But we need a little bit more money for that. And for more money, we're going to have to either increase our desirability to upgrade to homesteads. So we're... About halfway <laughs> on desirability, so we need a little bit more. Uh, but adding a school is going to help quite a bit. Oh yeah, they want me to make a school. You're so right. I do kind of wish they had a speed over three. Like a 5x would be kind of sick. Okay, we're at seven laborers. That's pretty good. Yeah, planks are going to be a lot more um, important to focus on now. So I might add another guy into here. Because they're going to be using a lot of planks at this tier. <laughs> Just a bunch of them. They're also a really good thing to trade eventually, too. Um, you know, so making sure that you're harvesting a lot of trees is going to be important. Um, so eventually, we're, we can sell we can sell those planks. We're at seven people. And this will make it so it's like six. So maybe, maybe we'll chill for a while and let some people come into the village. Uh, maybe some more housing. Another row of three down here. And our firewood caps should still be pretty good. I think 150 will be plenty. It looks like we're having a hard time even keeping up with it at the moment. But yeah, I'm going to hopefully get some more people in the workforce so we can start clearing out more trees. So right now we're we're kind of falling behind, which I don't want to happen. Yeah, and so inside of the uh, market, um, we have this guy right here, or this lady, Marna. She'll be stocking it, so people from the houses will go and grab their food from here and their supplies, uh, and she'll grab it from the storehouses. Nice new villager has immigrated. Fantastic. And two new villagers have been born. What was the one villager uh, death so far? Uh, they got destroyed by a wolf. They got absolutely ransacked by a wolf. We need them planks, man. It's 
food is still looking pretty good. We might think about adding a new food source pretty soon here. All right, Liam, I'll catch you later, man. You have a good rest of your night. Hope you sleep well. Oh, villager, villager has succumbed to disease. Not good. Not good at all. Yeah, healer's hut's kind of out of the uh, out of the question at the moment. <laughs> it's a twenty-five monthly cost upkeep. Trading post might be kind of nice too. We really got to fix our, our wood situation, and to fix that, we need to fix our workforce situation. Some more buildings, more homes. Yeah, these berries go crazy, man. It was a really good berry spawn. Need to research Vix and ginger ale. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for that patch. <laughs> waiting for the ginger ale patch. So I do need to build a clay pit too, unfortunately. Uh, I'm gonna need clay for the school. Yeah, see, these guys were in the basket, man. That's what you wanna see. Okay, we can support up to 56 people now. So hopefully we should get some uh, some people migrating in pretty soon. Or immigrating. We got a labor shortage, yep, I know. Don't I know it? Yeah, we're at a, we're at a six right now. I'm thinking I might put another uh, fisher down here. Yeah, fish fish are pretty good early game food. That kind of falls off later, but for our purposes, that should be just fine. So ideally, like we have all this fertile field uh, area, so I'm gonna try to get a lot of farms going. How far did I ever go in this game? Uh, I made it to pretty much the end. Um, at a certain point, like, <laughs> I mean, I got like all the buildings, like everything that I, I could I could do, I did. Um, and then once that happens, I'm like, okay, I kind of won. And then I'll start a new game. And see what other challenges await me. So I think I think the most fun part about this game is like the early early game survival, and especially if you play on Vanquisher, um, you get like less starting resources and you get raided a lot. Um, that's always a lot of fun. Yeah, we, it's kind of weird we haven't got a raided yet. I'm not sure when the raiding starts. Once again, guys, the map seed is in the description below if you guys wanted to play along.
do a little firewood check here. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. We're kind of crushing it right now, honestly. Vanquisher is fun, yes. <laughs> Yeah, I think Vanquisher is only, like, the hardest when you um, are just starting out. Then it gets a little bit easier as you start to, like, uh, stabilize. So you get some good walls in. Like, you uh, you can kind of put up the, the wood palisades if you go to uh, defenses. Yeah, the palisade walls, you just, like, surround it, put in, put in a couple of these guys, and you're good for a while. But definitely getting the resources, especially like what map you start on, will make it a lot harder. Yeah, this is uh, this is still early access. It's coming along really, really nicely. I'm just such a, I'm such a big fan of, of uh, Colony Survival games, man. Still at six. Come on. Give me more people. Okay, our fruit is spoiling the most. <laughs> we have a lot of spoiling fruit. But, I mean, it's just a, a high spoilage item. So I don't feel too bad about it. Uh, eventually, we put up the... Preservist, pre preser pre the preservationist. Uh, <laughs> he makes some uh, preserves for us. That'll be fantastic. Okay, we got some immigration. Awesome. Heck yeah, that's awesome. Okay, right, eight laborers. Heck yeah. So I'm gonna build something else now. I might, I might put in a cheeky uh, clay pit. We're going to make it pretty bare bones um, as far as how it's operating. We'll probably just put like one person in there for now. Um, but that should be a good start for us. Get a road in there, too. And I think eventually when we wall then we, when we wall in this area, um, I think we can, I think we can kind of like cut a corner here and like put the palisades up like over here. Oh, maybe we can't. You might have to move this building eventually. Oh, no, we're good. We got it. That'll be fine. We have one square of, of clearance here. So that'll be that'll be good. The colony is a beaut. Thank you so much. I'm very proud of it. <laughs> it's it's actually a pretty 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 dang good start. This is a really nice seed that I found. Get some more trees going. Need them planks. You can see some of these trees are starting to regrow over here too, which is fantastic. Man, the music in this game is really nice. I, like, never listen to it uh, nearly enough. But I love the beginning theme. It's really, really nice. comes the winter. Yeah, soap might be an important thing to start getting going too, uh, just to make sure that everyone stays nice and healthy. That'll also eat into our um, 
our firewood supply though too so we got to be careful with that we got to make sure that we're mindful <laughs> that that's happening a lot of things will end up using firewood um so i want to make sure that as i'm as i'm adding more adding in more buildings i added more people to um to help with the uh the wood splitting too because you run out of firewood you're in a you're in a world of hurt This is a nice, nice uh, clay mine right here. It's very, very mineral rich. Yeah, 15,000, dude. That's gonna last us uh, pretty much the whole game. <laughs> nice. Okay, we're only putting one person in here for now. Yeah, there we go. Just at operating level. So it'll be slow, because I, I think we need a good amount of uh, of clay for our school. 30? Okay, it's not it's not so so bad. It'll definitely take him a while, but we still are waiting on 150 gold too. The red icon over the house. Uh so this is uh missing uh ingredients to produce the produced item. So it was missing some like some meat or fish, I think. Yeah, these two hunters huts are doing some freaking work, man. I mean, it would be nicer if we could farm wolves. Um, wolves give you two hides per, uh, per per kill, and deer only give you one hide per kill. But we have two. We have two of them going, so we're doing pretty good. I think if you press R, you can see all of your resources coming in. Yeah, we have we have twenty excess pelts right now, so we're doing pretty good. A whole, whole bunch of tallow for making soap, which is fantastic. Arrows are still doing good. And we got two clay, 28 more. We get that school down and maybe we can upgrade some of these buildings, which will increase our taxes. Oh, was it, did you see a sick villager? Oh, he got cured, awesome. <laughs> you love to see it. Yeah, people get sick all the time. Like I haven't made a cobbler yet. Um, so people's, people are probably breaking their feet and they're probably getting scurvy because we don't have a lot of a lot of variety of food. We got some of the cholera. I'm not sure why he has cholera. We have a we have a night nice soil collector, and we also have uh, clean water for everybody. Yeah, he's sick. I wonder if it might be a good idea to put a well down over here, too. I'm not sure if that's going to be too close. Let's see. We could kind of put one over here. Hopefully it doesn't mess up our, our deer spawn. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it will or not, but we'll, we'll try it out for science and see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna put in another um, another food production thing now. Okay, the best we can do is 208, it looks like, which is fine with me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure that I'm sure the night night, night soil guy is uh, feeling pretty ill. <laughs> I'm wondering what he's spending his money on. He's getting four four gold a month, man. Oh, you died from the cholera! Damn. <laughs> Rip. That well didn't go up in time, man. <laughs> See how we're doing harvesting. Yeah, it might be time to put down a work camp too. Once we get um, how many people do we have? Four? Nope, not time yet. <laughs> but we should get some more people coming in pretty soon. I'm gonna make maybe two more houses.
Oh, this slope is too steep. Whatever, it's fine. I don't feel like terraforming that. I think that'll be fine. So that well is about to go in. So hopefully they don't get cholera no more. <laughs> we'll see. I think we're going to try to terraform this out a little bit too. Um, a key thing for terraforming, uh, just like gradually go into that slope. Uh, you don't want to go too far out because I think it'll pull um, the depth in further that way. So you just want to like take most of it from here. So I make sure I can put down buildings. Soap, cologne, and scented candles. I got your lotions and I got your potions. I'm that guy. Nice. Yeah, what's nice about this though too, um, since I kind of built this on a hill, I'll get like a range bonus. Um, usually when you build up, uh, you build like your, your watchtowers higher up an elevation, they'll get a slight range bonus, um, depending on how high they're shooting up from. I know I'm low on laborers. Ooh. <laughs> Don't remind me, bro. Don't remind me. I mean, that's just kind of the thing in the early game. You're like, you're always short on laborers. Because <laughs> there's a lot to be done. And not enough hands to do it. Only one villager, dude. Oh, come on. Not enough. Okay, you can see the fertility is still going up. Which is fantastic. Weed level's going down, so our yields are gonna be massive. <laughs> gonna be very, very big. I might start um, another farm, but I'm gonna only do clovers, uh, just to make sure that it um, is nice and fertile. And the nice thing about clovers is no one has to work on it. Those will just grow on their own. We can kind of share that fence in the middle. Make sure I build a gate so no one gets trapped in there. Pull the fence right there. There we go. Nice. That's gonna look real, real good. Yeah, so this field will be ready for like ready for us uh, when we need it, which will be nice when we have the, the people to support it. But it's nice to have it done early ahead of time. Just so we're not scrambling <laughs> when we're like, oh man, we really need to be planting some food. Because you can really just let it sit there and be like super fertile and then just like clear out some weeds and plant some things. And you'll see eventually, um, whenever this... Uh, compost gets to 100%, you can, it'll start placing it out automatically uh, to the lowest fertility field. So you get little boosts. You're gonna be so fertile. Start clearing out some of these trees. All you have to do is say clover, and now that song Crimson and Clover is stuck in your head. I don't think I've ever heard it. Who's it by?
I do wish they had like a villager walkthrough uh, view. <laughs> I mean, you can kind of do it. But it'd be nice to like just like see it through the eyes of the villager. It looks so so pretty in the snow though, don't it? This is such a good looking game. Look at that dude. He's just fishing. He's doing some ice fishing. He's in the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there he goes. In his nice warm jacket. Yeah, the, the season transitions look really, really nice, too. Like, you get a lot of, like, uh, like for the fall, you just see some leaves kind of blowing by, and then everything just, like, gets all golden and, like, sunburnt orange. Like, so nice. The Shondals. Yeah, I'm not sure I know them either. I'll have to look into it. I'll have to investigate. Nice, we need one more. There it is. School time. Time to get learnt. Okay, I am going to leave a little bit of space if I want to put a, uh, a wall around this eventually. I'm going to put it right over here because I'm like, think about it. Like you have a wall and one of these grids uh, and then like behind it, you want some of these watchtowers. But that should do a lot for desirability and make our uh, our villagers well educated and more efficient, which will be great for us. It's a nice, very early game amenity to get down. And everyone's nice and happy. They're a little bit, bit worried about their shoes and their clothes, which I don't blame them. You got typhoid. Oh, we need soap, man. Yikes. We have one labor. No. <laughs> Not like this, bro. Give me a big influx of people, please. I think it's everyone's farming right now. <laughs> I think that's what, that's what did it to us. That's okay. We'll, we'll recover. Yeah, this field's going to take a hot minute. Getting that soap up and running will be a pretty important thing, so I don't want people to keep dying on me, man. Is no bueno. Not so good. Look at him go. <laughs> Building that school. Oh, we're getting raided. Okay. Let's garrison the villagers. Raider, a party of nine. And here they come. Everyone get in your houses. Uh, I have like 110 hours about. Yeah, see, this does a pretty good job at defending. Uh, but these guys will try to like ransack your buildings. Oh, no. Okay. See, this guy, he's out of range, unfortunately. He's he's fighting a, a raider right there, too. Okay, looks like we're safe. Let's ungarrison. And we're just doing clovers, baby. No one has to work on that. We're just gonna let that chill. And zero labors. <laughs> Frick, man.
We have nine farmers. Let's see our raid stats. Let's see. Yeah, no items pillaged. Awesome. And we got most of them. We killed seven to nine. Everyone else ran away. We'll take some of these guys off. Making it back into the workforce. Here we go, dude. Nice. These are uh, gonna come and join us. They heard about my lotions and my potions, and they want in. Welcome to the team. Hey, all right, Mackinson, I'll catch you later, man. You have a great night. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Our laborers are looking real good now. Get to harvesting, you sons of bitches. Oh, we need houses for you, too. Just one more. And one more house for you. And the school is done. Get someone in there. Okay, who do we want? Can no one else just go in there? I think usually it auto-populates itself. I'm not sure why it's wanting me to add somebody. We're doing it. We're gonna add somebody. Uh, we will put in the person with the shortest commute, Lorelei. And this got um, someone else assigned to it right away. Awesome. Okay, now we're gonna start popping off, man. That was a really nice influx of people. Okay, what do we know, what do we wanna work on next? Probably desirability. Yeah, we might have to build a uh, this will be pretty temporary, um, but adding in a shrine will be a good thing to do. Keep the people happy, but we can always get rid of it later. Um, but this should, yeah, it looks like it's gonna bump up some of our desirability. And they'll pay us more money for living here. Ooh, get him, get him, yes. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, we also need a uh, Make the soap. We do be needing that soap. In you go. We're sitting at 11 laborers, fantastic. Don't die from cholera, please. Just hold on, hold on, the soap's coming. We're gonna scrub you down, head to toe. I'm going to leave this on 1x, but I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. Be right back.
right, we're back. Man, more dysentery. Thankfully, the soap's up and running now. Get it going. Oh, we had to make the trading post soon, too. It's gonna be mighty important. Because unfortunately, there's only one way to get um, a lot of the heavier uh, buildings like these guys. Uh, you can see underneath the cost, uh, the, like the labor, the lumber, the stone, and then there, there's that saw, those heavy tools. Uh, you can only get those by buying them through a merchant for the first one, and then eventually you can make them. Um, but ideally, it's nice to buy like two or three. Um, so you want to save up some money for that. And usually they're about like 300 or so. Uh, so just something to keep in mind. Um, you're going to need to do that. I think we get this going right now, actually. I'm going to put a little space in between these. And our shrine's going to go up here. And then we're going to get some uh, auto... Uh, upgrades on some of our buildings here. Need some more housing as well. And three more buildings in. Yeah, there's some population goals we're gonna have to hit eventually too. Uh, I'm able to do one more. This might be overkill, <laughs> but we're gonna do it anyway. Yeah, here we go. See, these guys are upgrading now. Uh, they're gonna become homesteads. Which should give us a nice little boost to our monthly gold. Yeah, we also get two more people uh, in each house now, too. Or one more. It looks like uh, these three buildings are the only ones that hit 30. But we can put down some decorations to boost that, which is why we left these nice little spaces in between. And make a garden trail. So boost everybody. We need 25 gold though, so we're gonna wait a little bit here. I know, don't they look so cozy? <laughs> Got yeah, the freaking laundry out there, man. Letting it air dry. Back down to six laborers. <laughs> they go quick, man. They go real quick. This water thing should go away, I think. I'm pretty sure that's within range of something else. Let me make sure. Two more villagers. Heck yeah. Put our resources. Click our well. Ooh, you are out of range. Okay, we'll put another one over here. This is a different water table. Oh, we got our first merchant, man. Okay, trading. Um, the best way to think about this, <laughs> we see the arrows going towards the trader. Like, this is you. This is the trader. Um, towards the trader means that you can sell it to him. Uh, arrows towards you means you're buying it. Uh, and to stock items, you transfer. So say I want to sell some wood or something. I'm going to sell some coats, actually. We're going to practice with this. Even though we're going to sell them at below average price points, uh, we're going we're to try to <laughs> get some uh, get some money in here. So I'm going to transfer some items. I'm going to choose, like... I'm going to take 10 from... Or uh, have 10 left in the town storage and have 19 in the trading post. 
And now uh, this person's going to stock that. And that'll take a while. You see they have a, a amount of days that they're going to depart in. We got to keep in mind, on 3x speed, every second is a day, pretty much. Okay, so 19 shirts are now in my inventory, in my trading post. So this is your trading post inventory and your town storage. So I'm going to click on here. I'm going to sell these for a below average price. I'm going to make 266 bucks. If we want to take that money into our uh, town storage, we can transfer that gold like this into our town storage. Or we can take things out and put it in the trading post if we need to buy things. But I'm going to put a little bit of money into the town storage. I'll put like 100 gold. And that'll be plenty. And is there anything we want to buy? Uh, we can buy shirts and pottery. Um, I think we're good on all this. Uh, there is there is beer in this game. Um, I'd recommend staying away from it. <laughs> if you put down a pub, uh, people will get... Uh, drunk and then violent if they're unhappy. <laughs> so there's end of like you have rogue soldiers going and killing everybody, which you don't want. Uh, so they don't, they're not concerned with having it until you put it down. So I just recommend not putting it down ever. <laughs> it's, it's, it helps a lot. Let's have a dry community, man. Okay, we're at nine labors, fantastic. It's going pretty good. I can put down um, some of those decorations now too. That's 50 gold. This would be like 100 gold. Stop too steep. There we go. Impending heat wave. We should be fine. It might cause a drought, um, which will affect our crops. I'm not so, so worried about it just yet. 19 villagers have graduated officially. Welcome to the workforce. I mean, they're already in the workforce. They just, they go to school. They go to night classes. Uh, so that doesn't really affect your, uh, your laborers. Yeah, here we go. Now all these guys want to upgrade too. Make sure we're harvesting trees still. Oh, wolves are over here. Shoot. Yeah, get them. Get them. Yes. <laughs> oh, I got rabies, bro. Yeah, that might be a death sentence. He might be cooked. I'm gonna transfer a little more gold. Yeah, that's instant, uh, just so you know. Putting it back into your into your town center is instant, but bringing it to your trading post takes a little bit of time. Probably work on making some shirts and shoes here pretty soon too. I've kind of put that off a little longer than I would have liked to. When we get some more villagers, I think that's going to be our next our next goal. So we can sell excess shirts. Uh, people like having new shirts. People need the shoes. Protects their health. Yeah, look at that. We're already at 12 uh, gold a month. And it's only going to go up. It does take a little time for it to register, though. Before they move into the next text bracket. Oh, the rabies got him. Yeah, now these games seem to have domesticated dogs. They need them. I want to pet the dog, man. <laughs> Let me pet the fucking dog. We 
We might want to focus on getting some uh, Palisades up now, too. Let's put a gate right here. Actually, we'll probably put it here. A couple gates. Put one right here, too. I'm going to build this out a little bit further because I want to put in a, um, a barracks eventually. Nice. And I think we might expand a little bit out further this way because we're going to put in our vault in here eventually as well. And honestly, we might um, end up putting some gates on this side, too. Well, maybe they can just go over here. That's not so, so bad. It's a little bit longer of a walk, but... The gates fall a lot quicker than the walls. When raiders are attacking them. Oh, man, the wolves, bro! Come on! <laughs> oh, you're dead. If we had a healer's house, we could take him there and heal him up, but he's just done for. Is there like a wolf den over here or something? I'm going to stop gathering these. Here, get these ones. Wounded in combat. Yeah, you're surely dead. <laughs> yep, there he goes. <laughs> you ain't coming back from that. Yeah, bring that body. Yeah, we're starting to get a pretty high death toll over here. <laughs> People have passed on. I might put a work camp over here when we have the people for it. Um, and after we build the uh, the people that make the clothes and the people that make the shoes. So I have not forgot that we definitely need that. You're making 20 gold a month now. Still doing pretty good on food. Start getting some more roads out here. Yeah, keep chopping, boys. Come on. <laughs> we need more wood. On the double. Palisade walls would take up so much wood, man. <laughs> it, would be, it would be really worth it to have, though. That I don't doubt. It's also going to look real nice. Okay, we're in year nine. Can you believe it? How time flies.
and we're making money hand over fist. Let's throw some back into the uh, trading post because it looks like we got a guy coming. I just don't want to be caught out without it. The traders always come at the beginning of the year. All right, what you got for me, bud? What you got for me? Oh, you're selling heavy tools. I do need to buy those. Um, but what we are going to focus on instead is uh, crude weapons. Because this will make our survivability a lot better. We're going to buy and transfer to town storage. I don't really have anything I can sell at the moment, so we're not going to worry about it too much. But yeah, the crude weapons, like the um, the hunters, we'll be able to hunt down um, the prey a lot, a lot better if they come and attack them. They're going to melee the crap out of them with those clubs. And also your soldiers eventually will uh, use those weapons too if you don't have any swords stocked. Yeah, I could, I could build a barracks. Which I did want to go in here anyway. Hmm, maybe we will at some point. Uh, sometime soon. I mean, I don't ha really have the people to uh, staff <laughs> staff my barracks at the moment. So, once again, that's going to be something we, we wait on. Here we go, another trader coming in. And what's cool is you can kind of merchant uh, between these two traders. Uh, so if like what I like to do is I'll go down and see if they're selling anything to me at a low price. Like right now they're selling swords below average. Uh, this guy could be buying swords. Um, and if he was at a higher price, I would just buy the swords from trader one and sell them to trader two. It doesn't look like there's anything I can really uh, afford at the moment. Uh, let's see what trader two has for me. Um, he wants some of my clay, but <laughs> at, a, at a steep discount, which I'm not really willing to do. Man, I'd love to have some crossbows, though. Oh, you're selling shoes, but at a high price. Oh, and I, can, I want cows, too. Uh, we need to make a barn eventually. I could buy some cheese, though. Um, I don't really need the cheese, <laughs> so maybe I won't. But cheese is a really good um, thing you can get from milk, from the cows. Uh, cheese lasts a super long time. A really good way to get this uh, orange number down quite a bit. So let these guys go. They're done. Oh, we got a drought. Let's see if I can increase desirability over here a little bit. might do some exploring too um a good way to explore is to grab one of your hunters um because they're more well equipped like who are you you my hunter no you're my smoker you and my hunters you're butchering me i'm gonna leave you alone you're also butchering me i'll, I'll leave you alone for a while too yeah the hunters have a way higher uh here we go looks like you're hunting now uh, they have a way higher survivability rate, <laughs> so if they run into a wolf, they're probably going to win that encounter. There is a uh, way to explore um, by setting like banners out um, with V, and people will just go and explore uh, at that set point that you put out, like this. Uh, if I was to put one down, then the, the flag goes out, and people will keep going there until it gets explored, which is dangerous um, <laughs> because... You know, if there's a wolf den or something that you don't that you didn't know about, they're just gonna die, and then people will keep going, <laughs> keep going in there. Ooh, look at this! Yo, look at all the blueberries, bro! Look at all these bloops! Oh my lord! <laughs> this is why it's important to explore. Look at that! Oh my god! Okay, we're definitely gonna take all those bloops. Oh, 
Let's see what's out this way. More Hawthorne. Not as good as Bloobs. The Bloob King. <laughs> Absolutely right. Yeah, but you don't want them to be out here for too, too long because they can they'll literally starve themselves to death. Just do... Oh, Wolf Den. Okay, we're running. <laughs> we do not win against that. <laughs> okay. That was a pretty good amount of exploration. Back to your post. Okay, we found all these blueberries over here. So now I have to do the painstaking process of bringing them all the way over here. <laughs> But it's gonna be so worth doing. My bloob farm will be unmatched, unrivaled. Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> That's freaking awesome, dude. Bloobs must flow. All right, in you go. Yeah, like when we get to making glass, we're gonna be looking real good on food. <laughs> These blueberries will last forever. Oh, I missed the farm. Oops, there you go. Get on in there. Go on, get. Nice. Okay, that should be all of them. Boom. Man, I really need a healer's house. We're just not making enough money to do it yet. Yeah, give me some more decorations. I don't think these are the most efficient way to do this. <laughs> but I really like the way they look. And I'm just going with rule of cool. Get these rocks out of here too. Yeah, this wall's coming along. I'm glad I had so much firewood stocked, otherwise we might be in a little bit of trouble. Five laborers. <laughs> <laughs> Not great. Yeah, I know. I know, game. Stop telling me. There we go. A couple more upgrading. Oh, someone died. We need 25 homesteads and a pop of 150 for the next uh, next upgrade here. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. Yes, dude. Oh, just in time. Okay, we gotta be careful about our food now, because I think we're starting to peter off in product productivity. We do have this wolf down we could start farming. Um, but first... No, actually, that's probably more important. Make sure we don't die, right? <laughs> Let's put down a hunter cabin. We'll put it, like, right here. Great. Our fertility is at 80% now, which is pretty good. Uh, I might start throwing in some... Uh, some peas and beans. I think here we'll add in... Um, we'll start doing some flax. We will need flax for clothes. Uh, actually, let's do it here. We, we do need flax pretty badly. And this one will add in the piece there. Awesome. It's looking great. Yeah, but ideally we want our hunter build to like pick these guys off um, one by one, not going into the whole group of them. <laughs> Because these guys will always aggro, and they'll be a really good source of food and hides. You turn that negative into a positive. Awesome. We could probably also start working on getting up our uh, cobbler and our weaver. Okay, cobbler. Start making some shoes. You're a net neutral. So you can go right here. Great. And then we need someone to make our clothes. Another net neutral. You can go right here. I think when these houses are done, we, we might be able to do a healer hut, too. I think that might push us to 25 income. I just want to keep a really close eye on this, though, <laughs> just in case I'm not paying attention when it goes up. Luckily, it's right next to a well. How about that? Oh, no. <laughs> They're too close, bro. Come on. There we go. Easy. Easy peasy. And our palisades are almost done, which is fantastic. But honestly, I might put in a... Um, I know I was just talking about how, <laughs> how much I wanted to put in... Um, uh, maybe like maybe I'll do the barracks. I want to do the healer hut, but I think a barracks might be more important here, just to protect our walls. I think my priorities are shifting a little bit. We should hopefully have enough people to not be totally like screwed on laborers. The other option would be to do a lookout tower. I think having some units might be good. You're 10. You reached a decade.
These blueberries are almost almost done being uh, imported. Yeah, I think that was the last of them. Awesome. When our walls, man, they're about to be done. Sick. Very good. Very good indeed. I mean, typically they're going to go for gates um, when they come to raid us. But we can definitely like, soften them up over here and put our units over here when they go through the gates. It just really depends what direction they come from. We got a builder shortage. That I don't. That one I don't mind so much. <laughs> I think that's fine if we don't have enough builders. The laborers, though, you want to make sure that's always coming correct. Okay, you are selling one of these, which is good. Hmm. I'm not sure if I buy it yet, though. I might wait. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait. Wait, how, how much are you selling them for? Is it crazy? It's not so so bad. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get one. Yeah, we'll, we'll do this. Definitely far from ideal. Oh, we're getting raided. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna buy this in case they steal my money. <laughs> yeah, the walls, man. They're so good. Oh god. Oh, look at this guy. I want a wolf, too. <laughs> oh no, I think this building might be too close. Here, let's adjust our, our radius a little bit. Just like here-ish, I think we'll be fine. Man, can no one kill this guy? Oh, you're retreating. And you're okay. So you're gonna go fight this guy. Yeah, mess him up. What are you doing? <laughs> this is the weirdest raid I've ever seen. <laughs> they can't decide what they're doing. Okay, you're done. Right over. What you got for me? Can I merch any of this? <laughs> it's the big question. You do have clay. And you are buying some shirts or some uh, some coats, which I'm happy to sell. I'll just put them all in there, whatever. And medicinal roots also sell for a pretty penny. And we're, we're getting a bunch of them, so it should be good. Put them in. And you're buying them for all heck done. Just a quick 500 gold, not bad. Yeah, the coats don't sell for too, too much. We lost some crops to heat stress. Oh yeah, I probably should put this a little bit further out in the year. That's okay. I'll have to remind myself to go back to that. 
village was raided. We lost nothing. That's awesome. Successfully thwarted. Okay, we are making 25 a month now. Um, not really a good spot to start uh, with the healer slot, so with like a little bit more money coming in. I don't want to be like just making zero. <laughs> What are you selling? Ooh, you are selling wood. But I might hold on to my gold for when um, some guy comes with uh, with cattle to sell. Because that would be awesome. I would love to start making some cheese. And 150 planks for the barn, but we need it up to buy to buy the the cows. So I'm, I think I'm gonna do it. Cause so you need to be able to put them somewhere immediately. Okay, 82 percent is pretty good. There we go. Yeah, and cows like to eat uh, root vegetables and wheat. Uh, so we might need to get on that as well. Okay, fertility is looking awesome. I don't need to weed anymore, so we're going to get rid of some of this. We can put in some peas here. Awesome. I'm going to start making some, uh, some wheat as well. Put this kind of in the middle of the year so we don't lose any... Uh, of our crop. Might be time to start another field. I think it is. We'll build one right up here. Let's do like an 11 by 17. Or 11 by 7. Perhaps. I'm not sure what the optimal size is for these fields. I think a lot of people do like 6x12s. Um, I think generally it's pretty okay. To kind of do whatever. Whatever like fits your purposes. And just put even more pressure on my uh, plank makers. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to put down a... Um, a barracks now too. Oh, it's 250 gold. Oh, we're so close. Mm, I'll just wait until I have it. Hopefully next year someone will come up with some uh, some cows. And unfortunately, the milk will spoil super fast, so we need the cheese maker. Which is in tier 3. And oh, we're getting low on food, man. Okay, maybe, maybe it's not the time for wheat just yet. Uh, I mean, in, in three years? In two, well, I guess in two years? Hmm, the peas will do really good for us. Yeah, 
Maybe we'll be okay. Oh, you're not close enough to hunt these things now. A little bit closer. Mm. Hopefully that's alright. Get those planks going, boys. I think when that new field comes up, we'll probably do the um, oh, the uh, weeding, a clover, and then uh, turnips for each year. So that seems to be like a really good way to boost your fertility and make that field nice and productive while it's getting uh, fertile. and tools oh, shoot yeah well we, we won't have those for a while so <laughs> unfortunately you're a little out of luck unless someone comes and sells us some you hunting them wolves boy yeah you are yeah you are labor shortage again. <laughs> All right, you're 11. Nice. Good kill. Good swift kill. Come on, you gotta finish this. <laughs> if this guy has cows, we're screwed. I don't think we can make 21 planks that quickly. Oh, you have cows. <laughs> oh man, 622 per. That's actually a lot more than I thought it was. So we need 1,200 gold in here. <laughs> we'll do it. I mean, we don't even have enough. But we'll be very close. We might, we might finish it in time. I'm gonna have one more person, even though we don't have the capacity for it. And people might quit their jobs that I'm supposed to be paying them for. But I'd really like to have these cows. I don't think anyone's going to join our settlement this year. <laughs> we had a bit of a rough one. Also, for smokers, I think... Um, usually you're okay when you hit... Uh, I think when you hit like 200, you maybe add another... When 200 pop, you hit another one in here. That should be good. Man, I don't know if we're gonna get. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna get it, man. I need a little bit more money, just a little.
Yeah, they're gonna go work for the wolves instead. <laughs> they're gonna get outsourced by the wolves. Okay, okay. I'm gonna sell some of this stuff. Fourteen days. Okay, the barn's up. Give me two cows, please. Yes, <laughs> we did it. <laughs> okay, we gotta set the grazing area. Eighty-five. Eighty-five is the number to beat. Boom. Yes, dude. The cows. We're broke. <laughs> Let's transfer some of this gold back into our town storage. Why not all of it? Why not? You only bought one pelt at a time? Are you kidding me? What do you think you're doing? Hop to it. There we go. You brought two baskets. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Okay, we can also set a maximum herd size, too, so we can just kill off any... And the other ones, because they cost food to feed, obviously. So we're gonna set it at a max of two for now. So they'll kill, they'll butcher anything else that got uh, that got born. And we will do ourselves some uh, some peas. Do ourselves some of these. There we go. It's looking pretty good. Oh, we don't have enough tallow. Uh, I mean, the butcher should take care of that whenever um, another one gets born. That was actually a pretty, pretty good get for us. Um, but we do probably want to find another... Uh, I know we're so short on laborers, though. Uh, another deer spawn would be huge right now. I mean, we could probably just throw another one in here. It, it might be fine. I say we do it. One more, please. No, um, I mean, people might join this year. We're looking like we're, uh, we're bouncing back here. Put down a uh, a barracks now. For maximum protection. we're getting our trees not these back ones I think there might have been a wolf den over here I'm 
I'm also going to go to my Fletcher real quick. Uh, I think we're kind of hitting the point now that we have so many people with bows. Um, we're going to be shooting a bunch of arrows. Uh, so we can adjust our work ratio. So for every two arrows we make, we'll make one bow. Or two stacks of arrows. Instead of the previous one to one. In a blueberry centric ad campaign. <laughs> Join our village. We have bloobs for miles. Okay, we'll throw one guy in here. Got a blizzard coming, and we are. Ugh. I think we might be okay on firewood. Oh, because your tools are broken. <laughs> it's making it a lot harder, huh? 61? Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, one person immigrating? Or no, is that one of my workers? I think it would, I think it would have been right here anyway, so maybe we did miss it. Let's add some fencing to this as well. You can see this gate. Here we go. Nice. Very good. Very good indeed. This is looking splendid. Okay, you are going to be hungry, though. <laughs> Unfortunately. Hopefully the cows live. Please, God, that these really expensive cows live. <laughs> they were a lot of money. Oh, God. We're, oh, we're out of firewood already, bro. Come on. I need, a, I need a farm only for uh, my livestock. <laughs> Which might be worth doing. One labor. Shoot. <laughs> Please, no. He's keeping up. He's making do. He's just bashing wood with a stick at this point, but, <laughs> you know, whatever gets the job done. Man, that guy's got to be so ripped. All he does is swing that axe all day long. You wonder if vampires were just pro-garlic propaganda. <laughs> it's possible, man. I wouldn't put it past anybody. Marketing's a cutthroat world. Oh yeah, we're, we're chilling on food right now. This is looking real good. Yeah, get out there and eat, please. Let me inspect you, cow. Wait, what? Why is this cow yielding 32 stone? Excuse me? <laughs> How? How and why? <laughs> that's some weird milk, man. Yeah, check your cow if that's what you're producing.
That's just his weight. <laughs> 32 stone. Put it in freedom units, please. Okay, give me tools. No tools. Rip. Man, you're buying stone for a lot. You gonna spend a lot of money on some stone. We'll see what the next trader comes before I make any rash decisions. Okay. Yeah, this is the danger of not having enough laborers. Nothing's getting done. Oh, here they come. Coming around the mountain. It's like 2,000 quarter pounders. <laughs> yeah, whenever I uh, value my uh, my cows, I like to do it in units of uh, quarter pounders. With or without sauce. Oh, we can buy some herbs, bro. That's a great idea. You should definitely buy some herbs. You ain't got no tools for me, though. And I can't make tools till I'm tier three, so <laughs> we, we need to get those uh, from the traders, unfortunately. Boiga units, that's right. <laughs> Call that a royale with cheese. How's your colony going, Sammy? Making progress? Unfortunately, you guys may not, may not produce anything. Ugh. At least not for a while. I think English is fun. <laughs> so true. So, so true. Yeah, maybe in the next stream we'll do some uh, some Vanquisher. I think this should be a nice little guide for anyone that wants to get into the game. Just get all your early stuff set up. See the trials and tribulations. Oh, it's going well? Nice. Just wait for the other shoe to drop. <laughs> yeah, the raids get kind of crazy later on. And most of your uh most of your economy is is done <laughs> done in the uh the trading post. Like you gotta get like you have to buy almost everything you need. To some extent. I wouldn't say like everything, but you know, a lot of things. Eight laborers. We're bouncing back. Do a firewood check. We are screwed. <laughs> Let's add one more guy in there. And Darius, what's up? Good morning, bud. How the heck are you? 
Welcome on in to some farthest frontier. The greatest colony survival game I've ever played. Man, I, I really need to figure out how to ensure these things get produced. <laughs> I'm not always so sure um, for the barn. Tools are needed to work efficiently. Oh, unfortunate. Fine, but a little tired. It's 1 a.m. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, waking up at 1 a.m. That does not sound like fun. I usually wake up around five. And I'm always like, oh, I really wish I could have slept more. But I got two dogs and they, <laughs> they wake up at the same time every morning. And then they wake me up. So let's freaking go, man. I'm hungry. I want to go outside. Take me on a two mile walk right now. The colony's going great. We're definitely hitting a little bottleneck with laborers, but that's to be expected. But like we got like food for days. People are happy. We're expanding. We're growing. Making money. We got cows. Look at that little quarter pounder. That Royale with cheese. It's the same with kids, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> if not, if not even more difficult, <laughs> I'm sure. At least dogs stay the same. Kids are always growing. And wanting things. <laughs> Ew. No one's gonna do anything about that? Oh, here we go. Good on you. Okay, the firewood's coming coming back up now, thankfully. Now we put that second guy in there. Interest. I don't understand why they're hungry. There's nothing in the storage. Like, why is that? <laughs> I'm so confused. Let's put a granary over here. Oh, maybe like... Oh, maybe like right here. I think it's looking real nice. Looks like this is doing pretty well with the three hunters. Uh, this is not getting exhausted, which is fantastic for us. Now, could I do four hunters? That's a <laughs> that's a new question. This is just turning into like a <laughs> into like a firing squad at this point. Made some nice little defense for the base too, though. I'm pretty pleased with like how this ended up. I mean, they're probably gonna get smoked by the people that come and raid us, but <laughs> at least they'll soften them up a bit, you know. I 
I think, actually, we might go ahead and put a gate uh, over here, just because I want them to, like, attack that gate. Uh, and if they are attacking a gate right here, that means they can get hit from both sides. Which would be pretty nice. There you go. What about one over here, too? We might even delete these gates. Ooh, 50 to work. 55%. We have too many kids. <laughs> we have too many dang kids, man. Everyone's gotta grow up. You gotta grow up sometime. Yeah, I think the game looks great, doesn't it? It's like everything I wanted, I wanted uh, Banished to be. Oh. What you got? More cows. I couldn't, I couldn't possibly take any more cows on right now. <laughs> I just totally could not. You are selling pelts for a pretty low price. When the other, uh, the other guy gets here, we'll see. What he's buying. See if we make a quick buck or two. Our labor supply is coming back up now, which is great. Things will start to run a little bit more efficiently. I think we'll probably get raided this year. I have to delete this whole road. Which would be kind of annoying. If I want to put in this uh, palisade back in. Now maybe I'll leave them up. Maybe we'll leave them up. Yeah, give those kids some work. <laughs> put those tiny hands to use. You gotta earn your keep around here. Just do some weeding or something, you know? Anything. Anything to help. <laughs> you don't have to work in the mines. You could, if you wanted to. Okay, are you buying pelts by chance? You sure are. You're buying them at nine. And he's selling them at six. Smells like profit to me. See if we can do that again. Only in the small mines. Yeah. <laughs> Just the tiny mines for you. When you graduate, we can talk about putting you in the big mines. Nice. That was a, that was a pretty good amount of profit we just made off of that. Oh, sick. Is anyone selling tools? Oh, of course not. Why would they? Hmm. I might buy two more of these. And then we won't have to worry about these. Any longer. Like, three of those will like, we'll be set for like, everything we want to make right away. Which would be really cool. That'll, like, fast-track us into Tier 3 when we get to that point. I think we can build some more houses, too. I think it might be time. Man, crazy that no one... Oh, we're getting a, another trader? Hell yeah. 
please have tools <laughs> for the love of God. I need to transfer some money over just in case. Just in case he has tools. Please. No, bro. <laughs> Come on. The heck are you doing? Maybe my colony is just so woke there's no more tools. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think I'm gonna put a uh, a gatherer over here because this area is nuts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, and for building, um, when you make work workplaces that are further away, what you want to do is put in some temporary housing for these guys. Just so they don't have to walk all the way back every time they're done with the task. And they'll get to stay out here for a bit longer. We can put in some water for them, too. Oh, yeah, 74%. That's awesome. It's a groan. <laughs> I liked it though. <laughs> so true, so true. There's a lot to like. Fifteen. Um, I'll add two more builders, sure. Just for upkeep. Got a few more houses going down. So I really do, do need to make a push for the healer's house now. It's about time. It's about dang time, man. Slope too steep. Oh, say it ain't so. Ooh. Nice. Slip too steep. Okay. We'll have to fix that later. Oh! More? More people want to join? Bro. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That means it's time for another farm. Yeah, I'll just encapsulate this. Trucked it by building. Oh no. <laughs> you gotta move. You gotta move, bud. Make room. Get to the chopper. Uh. Freaking Arnold, man. What is he doing nowadays? Is he, is he still the governor? The governor, sorry, excuse me. There we are. Okay. Now then, for that fence that I was talking about. Boom. 
Okay, 28 gold. It's time. <laughs> we won't the, the margin for profit's gonna be slim, but <laughs> this is totally worth doing. Sean Nett, what's up? How you doing? Welcome on in. To my freaking cows. Come on, stop being hungry. Eat something, damn it. <laughs> Where are all my root vegetables? I have 12. 12 root vegetables. Come on. That's plenty. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe that's the problem. <laughs> that might be it. We might have to start making some carrots, man. Maybe this will be our uh, our cow fodder farm. So I'd really like it if these cows didn't die after spending <laughs> the amount that I did. Oh yeah, you gonna slaughter one? We're at three of two. Give us some burgers. He hasn't been the governor since 2010. Damn. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta look at more news. <laughs> I just like refuse. <laughs> I just refuse to look at the news. making three gold a month off this unfortunately which is not nearly enough uh how many people do we need 150 pop okay Ooh, i don't want to make more houses not just yet i don't think we're ready for it even this is like a little much <laughs> being 109 of 132 at the moment eh. not the best three cows Oh, little baby. It's a little baby cow. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. My meat's spoiling, dude. Come on now. Didn't I just see a wagon coming? Am I crazy? Oh, here we go. Come on, give. Give me tools. Give me tools. Give me tools, please. I see a few. No! <laughs> no, dude. Why are you do me like this? Need a few more homesteads. Oh, we're making six. Not three. Nice. Okay, that's not bad at all. Wonder if that'll change. Did you have any, anything I wanted, actually? I didn't really look. Oi. Hmm. Not really. Not so much. Yeah, we got the stack of the school. The healer's hut and the shrine right here. The shrine will eventually replace with a... Uh... Oh god, what was it called? Do do do. A temple, yeah. Eventually we'll put a temple in this place right here. And that should serve our needs just fine. We, we might even put it over here and like build another um, market center over this way. That way it's like hitting both. Yes. Oh, for 50. Oh, you're going <laughs> to drive a hard bargain, but I'll take it.
Okay, this farm's almost done too, which is fantastic. There we are. Okay. Hmm. We'll do carrots at the end here. Oh, the wolves got him, man. Sometimes it'd be like that. But thank you for your service. You can, <laughs> your final resting place will be the, the cemetery you were just living right next to. How's this going? Oh, I'm being raided. Shoot. I didn't even notice. Click that bell. Nice. Only 18 raiders. That's not so bad. There it is. I think the raid is done. Oh, no. These guys are coming too. Stop attacking my houses, man. Come on. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. Rip. Oh, you probably took so much stuff. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's highly unfortunate. The Taco Bell ding. <laughs> the dong. The ding dong of the Taco Bell. Raid is over. Okay, food is going to be a bit of an issue now. <laughs> Jeez. We need a good harvest this year, boys. Make it count. Make me proud. Oh, you're sick. Hey, what's up, Ted? How you doing, man? Good to see you. What did I get? Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> that was not the best. It has to be said. Oh, five gold. It's worth it. <laughs> It'll be worth it, I think. I hope. <laughs> For love of God, please be worth it. I know I do. I do need to extend out my uh, my fencing to kind of reach over here too, don't I? That's just gonna be a really big uh, wood investment. Doing well. You finally made it to a live stream before quitting time. Yeah, <laughs> you sure did.
think we could probably set this to 200 now. I feel good about that. Oh, I turned off the UI somehow. Oh, <laughs> it's all gone. <laughs> Is that a bug? I have no idea what I clicked, bro. Nothing's showing up. Oh god. <laughs> what have I done? Just press all the buttons. Huh. That's not good. <laughs> That's not very good. Here, we'll set it at one speed. I'm going to look it up on my phone. How to hide the UI in farthest frontier. Google me. Right bracket on the keyboard. Hey. <laughs> Thanks, Google. Oh, and thank you, Sammy. Oh, I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. Oh, this is a, be a way better thumbnail. Be printing them thumbnails, bro. Okay, here's the test. Storage is still empty. <laughs> Idling, unable to work. We have 410 root vegetables, okay? Why don't you have any food in your storage? Am I crazy? Oh, we're doing so good right now. It's all coming up Estes, bro. Okay, I think it might be time for a work camp. Forestry service only 47 right there. It's not great. 61, also not fantastic. Um, this is where the wolf den is, but this is 80. I'm taking the 80. Try and stop me. Are there wolves? Maybe it was just a freak wolf. A freak wolf thing that happened to me earlier. Totally possible. I'm gonna guess, like, if I want to cover this area with wood too, or the fence, that might be like 500 wood <laughs> or something crazy. It's gonna be a lot of wood, man. I think I'm gonna go with this area first, actually. Um, we have 20 people laboring. Laboring away. I do kinda wanna make a, uh, an arborist, though. And that's where I want my other the settlement to go. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, a hundred percent. That's crazy. It's going here. <laughs> it's absolutely going right there. 
Uh, this is a colony survival game, Ted. Uh, so you start with like like 12 people and then you just like keep going, just trying to keep meeting their needs, expanding, researching. Uh, you get attacked from now, now and again. Uh, people will try to come raid you and take all your stuff. It's really, really good. It's uh, pretty, I think it's pretty close to uh, being full release, but it's still early access. It's in 0.9.1 right now. Yeah, it's a really, really good time. I've been, this is what I play on my off time. <laughs> so I thought maybe I could make a little guide for people that want to get into the game because it's on sale right now on Steam. And I think there's going to be a big influx of people that are finally going to pull the trigger on it. Yeah, you can send troops out. Um, the flag you can set with the, uh, the button right here. You can set a combat area, and then they'll just go here and fight things. Make sure you re return them to barracks, though. Click that flag when you're done and return them barracks, because they'll stand there till they die. Wait, how come I can't set the herd size anymore? Hmm. I don't know what happened there, bro. <laughs> yeah, we gotta we gotta work on our food here because um, I want to be able to sustain sustain a larger. Yeah, here we go. Arborist. They plant trees. So that's gonna take it's gonna take a minute. Oh, dude, a lot of my UI is missing. It's so weird. Hmm. Usually, you can select what trees you want to put down, <laughs> but I don't know why it's not working right now. Maybe it's something to do with the brackets. Oh, here we go. It's back. Okay, let's put down some trees. It's really loud. <laughs> uh, I don't think there is a win condition, as far as I know. You just gotta go until you can't build no mo. Usually, I just I just stop playing when I um, don't have anything else left to do. I'm happy with like what I made, and then I'll just restart. Slam in those trees. You gotta slam them, man. It's so important to do it with a little bit of gusto. So true, so true. A couple more tools, sure. What I really need is like a coal mine. Speaking of mines, I should probably should get some other mines up. Time to start uh, getting our, our resources for the next age. Next age, it's not. These aren't ages, these are tiers. <laughs> a very important distinct, uh, distinction. I'll get iron over here too. I wonder if I have a better iron spot though. But work area was empty. Oh, is it this one? Or this one? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's probably this. And we have another iron over here. 
a little close to the wolves though. Not sure I like that one. And I like the meat I'm getting from the from the wolves, so I don't really want to kill them. Oh, here we go. We can get relics over here too. Um, but if we try to take these relics, uh, we're gonna get attacked. So you want to have a pretty decent-sized army to make that happen. I think we could also put in some apiaries. It's like two, and then uh, we can work on getting a candle maker after that. Which we also need to put in our houses for the next upgrade. Yeah. But we don't need to worry about that until age three. Or tier three. <laughs> Get ourselves some beeswax. These houses <laughs> just like have a permanent hornet's nest attached to it. <laughs> Those poor souls. Okay, here we go. I think we can... We can do four now. Storage is empty. <laughs> Feed stores are still empty, though. Think what else we want. Pottery building we're gonna need. Oh not weaver. Wrong one. We want the candle shop. I think the pottery sells pretty well too, actually. And honey is a good thing to sell as well, especially if you're not going to be making uh, making brews. Yeah, the music is really good. It's like such a good game to just chill out to. You can tell because I've already been streaming for uh, like three and a half hours. Usually my streams are like two. <laughs> Get a dirt road in here, I think. I don't want to disrupt the Hawthorn because I think the cows are eating them. You're still hungry. God. <laughs> Golly, come on. Just eat the freaking food, man. <laughs> why? Why, why, why? Why are you unable to work?
<laughs> yeah, now I, I don't freaking know. Do you need like a food trough over here or something? Like what's happening? I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> It's a little bothersome is all. Like I've gotten it to work like a bunch of times. I'm not sure why it is now. Why it's having such a hard time with storage. Oh, you don't have any more stone to cut. That's fine. You just focus on the trees. You got scurvy. That scurvy going on, man. Okay, I guess this might be our our mine here. Unfortunately, a little far out of the way. this yeah this is a weird visual bug that happens sometimes uh the way i found to fix it is uh to go to the, the thing that where it is and just like hover your mouse over it for a second and you can kind of yeah trick it there you go otherwise that thing is stuck on your screen for like so so long <laughs> and sometimes that comes back anyway so yeah like that no clue why that is Oh, you want to buy some herbs, huh? How would you like to buy like 200 herbs? Come on, come on, get off my screen. <laughs> Yeah, it really, really wants me to know about the mine. <laughs> hey, man, I think you were getting about something. We talked about this. Are you buying herbs? You're not. Because you're go they're going to this guy. Awesome. Very, very good. Oh, you're selling tallow, which I desperately need. I have no idea how much for. Okay. God, <laughs> this freaking thing, man. Hmm. Oh, dang. He's gonna buy a whole bunch of my uh, medicinal roots. And we're gonna make a lot of money. A lot of money. Oh, he doesn't have enough, have enough money. Heck yeah, man, that's a lot of money. A cool 2K. Hmm. 
18 workers. Okay, looking pretty good. You guys need tools? God damn it. <laughs> no one's selling tools, are they? And why would they? Oh, so it's like very undesirable. Um, people don't want to live by this. Uh, they'll it'll give like a huge like debuff to your desirability. Uh, so you can see like here like these are all my undesirable buildings. I put them all right next to each other, and then over here it's like where everyone wants to live. These are all my houses. Still empty. Are we? We need one more homestead, man. Oh, you're so close. We can do that. I think we might make it to tier three. Uh, we'll need a little bit more clay. The planks will be coming. Oh, the garden trails do this a lot too. It's also super annoying. <laughs> I just can't win, bro. Come on. Here we go. I think like the longer you play the game, the more <laughs> the more likely it is that that is to happen. At least, or maybe it's just a me thing. Maybe it's just my computer that that's a uh, little fickle about it. Is that too many people to put in there? No, that was fine. Let's get another farm going too. We'll make a big farm this time. I want the gate first. There we are. Feels like we're still having a little trouble keeping up with food now. Looks like our trees are coming along nicely. How's the work camp going? Have you guys cleared it all out? <laughs> That's going okay. Yeah, I need. I really can't wait to upgrade this because you can turn this into a forester eventually. And the forester lets you plant trees, uh, but you need to upgrade it first. 
but I feel like that's something that should I don't know I don't, I don't think that's worth uh, putting behind an upgrade I think that should just come stock it's kind of an annoying thing to have to worry about Nice. This is looking like a really, really good farm right now. Um, we're gonna... Hmm. This one. Some carrots. Some of those bad boys in there. I think we'll do some leeks, too, just for fun. Yeah, peas and beans, that's what you really want the most of, because that's how you're really going to bolster your food. Um, those last for like 18 months, and most of the other food doesn't last nearly that long. Oh, my root cellar is full, man. It's like all these, uh, all these root vegetables should go to, uh, to the, <laughs> to the freaking cows. Just a thought. Just a thought I had. All right, y'all, I think we're going to go and call it here for today. I want to thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, this is a lot of fun. Uh, I'm definitely going to... I think maybe maybe we'll save this one and uh, keep working on it later. And we'll make a part two to the guide, uh, which I think would be a nice thing to have. And we can see us go to the next stage uh, in the, uh, the next episode because we're super, super close. Uh, but yeah. Like I said, I heard a dog bark on one of my videos. Yeah, I got I got two two pups. Two puppers. <laughs> Yeah, I try to I try to edit out their sounds as much as I can because <laughs> they're very loud sometimes. But yeah, that's gonna be it for me for today. Uh, like the stream if you haven't already; would really appreciate it. Uh, and I think uh, we'll be back with some more of this pretty soon with a part two to the guide. Uh, yeah, thanks all. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye bye.